Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This is a very impromptu live. Um, I got off the phone with my dear friend, Dr. Laura Bellis. You may recognize her from the online world and we've done a few videos together and she was my accountability partner through my entire journey of writing my book. And I was telling her about something that I was really frustrated with um, in practice and about this idea of not people of not showing up and the idea of taking um, basically buying our own bullshit and basically accepting our excuses and living in our excuses instead of stepping up and I was talking about how I was getting really frustrated with um, with certain things in that realm and I we had then you know had talked about an investment we wanted to make for business and I said okay so do you want to go have these on this and we'll invest in this one little thing together instead of us doing it separately and then we continued our discussion key point we were gonna go have these on this investment keep that in mind so we're going forward and I'm telling her about um, you know I understand that sometimes there are there are things in life you know I'm a single mom I totally get it there are things in life when um, with financially when, when things are a certain way or you have to budget a certain way but I was getting really frustrated with people using money as an excuse to not show up in their lives and in their health and I remember when I was working with a life coach when I was uh, a student in my naturopathic training so student you know, living in a different city, Toronto, very expensive. And I was investing three or four months with this life coach. And I was like, my life was, I was so stressed out. My relationship stuff was like all uh, changing at the time. I was leaving a 10 year partnership and with a different partner. And it was just like, everything was up in the air. I was finishing my education. And I was just like, come hell or high water, I am going to invest to be with this life coach. I I am going to do what I need to do because I, I really wanted her, her guidance and her support and her help. And I vowed valued the support that I got from her and it was like a thousand dollars a month I think it was and I had invested for a few months or 1500 or something like that and I was like totally re budgeting I was Laura saw me through, through this bit like I was like you know totally changed even the way I was doing groceries like it was like I was like I do not care I am making this happen I'm investing in this program I'm doing this I had hit my um, Amanda Francis calls it your fuck the shit moment when you're like I have hit the bottom I'm not doing anything else this is it I am done with this shit and something's got to change and it's got to change now I just want to clear the screen so I invested in her and I'm like you know it's really frustrating me when people are telling me that they're living in their excuses and they can't step up to do what they know they need to do for their health because of you know certain things like that like finances when I was a student and I was like I hit my my moment of like nah -uh, I'm getting the support that I need and then we both kind of laughed because we were like, what were we just going to do with this business investment? We were both just going to go have these instead of, instead of going all in like separately on our own. And we said, you know, we were laughing because the exact same thing that we were complaining about was the thing that we were actually just going to do. So um, we had a discussion around that. We both decided to go in on it separately, but get the full experience and both invest separately. So we're doing that and stepping up for what we really want. And it was just a um, really interesting moment. And she's like, you know, I really think you should go live. I think you need, you need to go do a live on this right now. And I was like, mm, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's kind of vulnerable. It's kind of, she's like, no, no, I think you need to do it. The authenticity. And what I'm realizing is I should have made her come on here and do it with me. But if you're just catching on uh hashtag replay and go back and watch the beginning because the it is a very important message so basically long story short stop living in your excuses stop buying your own bullshit and are you really gonna wait till you hit the bottom till you hit your fuck this shit moment before you actually do something about it if you need help get the help if you need support ask for support work your things around to do what you need to do and actually start living the life that you claim you actually want to live when you make a step forward, uh, and J uh, John Cherone was on with me, he's a motivational speaker, we did a talk together on my page, and he's amazing for this because he is very about, very much so about stop buying your own bullshit, and he's very much so about pushing you to take a step of action towards the direction you want to go, and I highly suggest you follow him, he's great. So, stop buying your own bullshit. If you actually want to make a change, do something to make the change. If you actually want to live a certain kind of life, well then do something about it. Do something about it. So I really hope that this message caught you at the right time. I don't believe in coincidences. I'm sure you landed on here for a reason, and I really hope that this served you. I'll catch you guys soon. My name is Dr. Nadia Rizzo, naturopathic doctor, and this is Health Made Simple.